Hello and welcome to renovation week 13. Oh my god, I'm currently in Starbucks car park and there's so many people around me. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this here. Anyway, this is going to be quite a quiet week um, because the builders are actually taking like three or four days off, I think. They've got another job that they're doing elsewhere and they're doing like the roof of somebody's house and it's going to rain later on in the week. So they want to try and get as much of it done as possible um, before it rains, obviously, because they haven't covered the roof or something like that. But anyway, it's been glorious the past couple of days. I've had like two builder free days which I really like my builders but it's just been great not having somebody call me like five times a day and be like can you get on this can you buy this or can you come around to the house or can you drop this off for tomorrow and so it's been really nice and I'd actually kind of forgotten that coffee shops are now open for you to sit and work in and I have really missed that during lockdown so yesterday I spent all morning here I went home for lunch because I didn't want to eat out if I didn't have to because we've been eating a lot of crap when we're obviously out in about all day and going back and forth to the house and to shops and stuff like that and so yesterday was the day where I could have just gone back home for lunch so I did and today I got here after lunch so it's Tuesday today and I've got so much work done I had two sponsored blog posts to write which I've now done I've like written the blog post I was very rusty because I haven't actually written a blog post since just after Christmas end of January I think and that's a very long time for me so I've really missed writing so that was really nice to like get on with that and then I've kind of edited and scheduled the photos done the SEO sent the invoices off blah 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 and I've also edited last week's video to go live on Sunday and it's only Tuesday so I'm getting really ahead of myself I always forget how productive I am in coffee shops it's great anyway I've now timed it really badly it's quarter to five there's like a motorway there which I have to take to get home and the traffic has built up loads in fact let me show you i don't know if you can see in my wing mirror those are all cars that were well they were stuck in standstill traffic and that's gonna be me because that's the way i have to go home <laughs> One thing I have to say is though, I'm really gonna miss this Starbucks when we move because it's actually really close to us but it's in the opposite direction from the house and it's just the perfect place to come and sit and work. I think unlike other Starbucks, this one is kind of designed more for people to sit in with their laptops and it is always full of people just sat here either working on their own or having like business meetings and things like that and it has free parking it's not like in a town center or on a high street and it's just like my perfect place to come and sit and work so that is like the first thing i'm definitely going to miss about the area we currently live in but anyway such is life i will find a replacement i'm now going to go home get stuck in loads of traffic so wish me luck and um i'll I'll update you when I next have to go to the house in the next couple of days. Jas and I have just come to the house this evening. There's nothing new to see here um, in terms of building work because the builders haven't been here. But I had a text from Yodel to say that a parcel was arriving today. And I don't know what the delivery people are like around here. I hear really bad things about Yodel. And um, in all honesty, actually, where we live in the flat, all of our delivery people, including Yodel, Hermes, DPD, they're all really good. So I just didn't want them to leave it outside. And do you know what? It's really annoying because the guy's obviously walked around the side of the house. I don't know what my hair's doing. And let himself into the garden because we don't currently have a padlock on the gate. And he just left this big box right outside the patio door. So it's a good job we came today because that would have sat out there until maybe tomorrow or Thursday whenever the builders are next here. And look at the size of this box. Jasmine's just brought it in. Um, I've got a feeling this light fitting I've ordered is going to be too big, but I really liked it. I had a discount code. I don't really like ordering stuff on made.com because everything that I like on made.com um, takes like eight to 12 weeks to arrive. And who has that sort of time? I mean, I would have if I just ordered stuff at the start of the renovation. So I filtered it down by stuff that's available to arrive in the next week or so. And this was one of the items. So I'm going to open it up now and have a look. size of the actual light fitting it's a little bit smaller than this it's rattan oh my god it's heavy so it's kind of going to go here it's fine it's not too big is it no that's right you know so this living room is obviously really tiny and you know there's always only one light fitting here so i asked them to rewire it and just keep one because there's not enough space here for two and I really struggled to find wall lights because I didn't want one that looks like it should be in a pair. This one doesn't. So actually, there's a good one. Oh God. 
That's the centre of it. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very statement, but I think it will work. So yeah, okay. I should probably open it up to look at it, but it's just so dusty in this house. I don't want the builders to ruin it, so I'm gonna leave it in there. In the box and just hope for the best, I guess. Okay, we put the box back here, but the builders, I've asked them to um, tidy this area because our kitchen and all of our appliances are arriving on Saturday. We've got like four different deliveries. And of course, the first time slot is 7 a.m. <laughs> so we're gonna have to be here for about 12 hours maybe. And the kitchen needs to go somewhere and I want it to go here because obviously it's just easier for the fitter to then start fitting it and it just makes sense. So. They really need to get a wriggle on and um, clean this bit up. And I also have asked them, I've asked them to do the whole of the downstairs because I need the entire living room free. I want to try and get the mist coat on the walls in here and possibly just get everything in this room finished minus the very final coat and for them to clear this whole room out because we've got a couple of people that are willing to help us start moving some boxes on Sunday and I just think it'd be really useful. We haven't got tons of stuff packed up in the flat. Obviously not going to bring clothes and stuff like that but I just want to start bringing a few boxes bit by bit every time we come but at the moment there's just nowhere to put it so hopefully they sort it out <laughs> this week because this is really dragging on now and then um yeah, we'll also need to pack a few boxes between now and Sunday if we're gonna get some help, because we'll have two cars and four of us, but a lot of the stuff that's already packed up is things like books and folders, and they're like really heavy. So I don't know how we're gonna lift all of that ourselves. When I first started packing boxes, I just thought the removals people will do it, and then I found out the cost of like removals, vans, and yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if we're gonna do it ourselves or like hire a van and do it ourselves eventually, or get uh, like a removals company in. But that is a fun job for another day. Anyway, let's go and have a look out in the garden, and then we'll leave you. Yeah. Oh my god, pulling up weeds is such hard work. I was literally watching YouTube videos on how to do this, so I have no idea. It's quite nice and cool this evening, so we're attempting it. So I've had a few deliveries, as you can see. These two are not deliveries, actually. They're just two boxes that Jas and I packed up a while ago. I might have shown this on the vlog. I'm not entirely sure it's a tap. That needs to go to the house, but it's here for now. This box arrived ages ago, and I kind of just didn't realise, because this whole place is full of boxes. I need to open it up and pull out whatever it is that's in here, because I have no idea. And then I've got some carpet samples, which I'll show you in a minute. Just contact lenses, that's not very exciting. This is a parcel that I'm equally like, excited and equally scared about because I think it might be the wrong thing. I really hope it's not. But yeah, I'm gonna show you these two in a second. I'm gonna open this one up first. Mystery solved. And this is so nice, it's not house related, but Aperol actually sent me a three litre bottle for my birthday. This was three weeks ago, and every time big boxes arrive to the flat, I just assume it's stuff for the house, so I haven't even looked at it, and I didn't actually realise that this was a gift from Aperol. It's the perfect weather at the moment as well. So these are my carpet white samples. I actually ordered four, they've only sent three, because they've, yeah, anyway. This is the one we were looking at in the shop. It's not like super plush, like a Saxony carpet. It's um, a shorter pile, which means it's less maintenance. You don't have to vacuum it every day. And these are just two extra wool carpet samples that I threw in. Just is just opening. Oh no. Are they completely different colour? That's the wrong. Oh, for God's sake. They are like. Um... The description said something different. These are kind of pinky. These are kitchen cabinet handles that we've they're very, ordered. Uh, they're not rushed. They're like a rose gold, yeah, aren't they? They're, they're not, not like gold, brass that I wanted. Can we open? I wouldn't open? say open any of them in the plastic packet because they're... That is so annoying. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, these were from eBay and I had a feeling they'd be the wrong ones because the price just seemed too good to be true. So the photo on eBay looked like it was more brassy and not like rose goldy. And in the description it said that there might be a pinky gold, but... I just thought I'd take a chance and order them anyway because eBay always favours the seller. No, the buyer, oh. not the seller. Um, the design looks all right, right? Yeah, the design is really nice. These are like knurled handles. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. 
I don't want to open the plastic in case I have to return them. I'm going to go back to the listing and check, but I really wanted some knurled handles and I've ordered different sizes because um, I want three different sizes on all the cabinets and the drawers that we have, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they are a bit pinky. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay. And I just was really intrigued by wool carpets, but this one looks really thin. A bit like something you might get in like an office or something. And I don't understand why this one's got like a red dot on it, but I really like the texture that you can see on wool carpets. Um, I need to go into the shop to see if they all have like little flecks of red or if it's just this sample, but... Um, yeah carpets are just really difficult i don't really know what we're doing with that but mm, this is a little bit annoying as well i'm actually not sure now because i've just gone back to the listing sorry if you can hear oh god where's it gone hold on sorry if you can hear loads of background noise we've got all the windows and doors open because it's really hot and it's not going to pick up on camera but um the price of these just seemed too good to be true because they were probably about a quarter of the price of other ones i just don't know if they're gonna look too pink i'm gonna go and get the sample door um in from the car just to hold it up against it and see see it's very annoying that this doesn't pick up on camera um but it does say in the description it does say the gold is like a copper rose gold but that's not what the photo shows oh it's such a difficult I don't know. Some lights it looks fine, and some lights it does look quite pink. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky because this is the boiling water tap that we bought, and the colour of this isn't perfect. But there's very few companies that do boiling water taps that are like perfectly brass. Look at my awful nails. So this one's called uh, brushed gold. I always knew that the cabinet handles wouldn't match, and this is a sample of the kitchen cabinet door. These two look great together. I mean, these two even look fine together. I just don't... Can I open this, Jess? Open the smallest one, I think. Yeah, because... Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. Oh, my God. I've literally just emptied out only one kitchen cabinet. This is all the serving stuff. I've got Jess to help me make up a box, and I'm going to start packing a few bits while I've got about half an hour, an hour free, but this is going to be so stressful. Oh! Oh my god, I'm not looking forward to this packing stage at all. Oh my god, I've had the busiest day ever. Sorry, my camera's at a really weird angle. I am... Um, I'm just off to go to Park Royal to pick up some more grout and some radiator covers and valves and boring stuff like that. And this morning I went to pick up some tiles, dropped them off to the builder, and I had another meeting elsewhere. So I've just been running around all day and I might even pop into Ikea depending on what time it is by the time I'm done, although I'm not looking forward to going to Ikea. It's really annoying because they make you walk all the way around the top and the bottom. You can't just cut straight through to the bottom bit because I know what I want. I just want to pick it up and go. So that's a bit frustrating, but um, yeah, it's just a day of running around for me today and um, it's not raining like it was meant to. So that's something, I guess. Okay, so I've picked up the grout and now I'm back at Mr. Central Heating. I've already got my mask on. I'm just about to get out of the car, pick up my bits. And I actually didn't realise how close to Ikea I was. So I think I might just pop in there on the way home because I'm pretty sure I have to drive past it actually to get home. So I might as well while I'm just in the area, you know. Oh, oh my God, it's like a sauna here in Ikea, but it is so much quieter than it would be at the weekend. So I'm very happy. I've actually found this ceiling light that I've been after for ages, but they have never had it in stock and it matches a wall light that I bought for the guest bedroom and luckily they've got it here it's only 19 pounds their lighting is so cheap but I don't actually like a lot of it I'm just going to try and figure out what bulb to buy because they're all E27s but there's like 60 watt 40 watt and this says max 13 so I don't really understand but I'm going to ask somebody to help me and also the main thing I actually came in here for were these like clear storage bags for when we move and I got really lucky because they were four for the price of three so I picked up eight I texted Jas and I was like is that too many and he was like no because we can always use them to store stuff in the loft in the future so that was quite lucky um I think four of them will cost me about 19 pounds no eight of them will cost me about 19 pounds and then I don't know why I threw this into my trolley actually I wanted to make my own like healthy-ish ice lollies I was looking into this the other day and um this was just two quid 
you know, you can't really go to Ikea without buying some tack, can you? <laughs> I'm probably only going to use it once and never again, but I really like this light. I just hope it's bright enough um, in the room. Okay, I've probably said this in a previous video, but this is the wall light that I um, actually picked up ages ago, and I think they look really nice together. They also do a lamp, but I think it's a bit excessive to have three different types of lighting that's all the same. So I've gone with the ceiling light and with this, and I'm really happy, but I can't find anyone to help me figure out what bulbs I need. Okay, that was a pretty successful trip. I've been walking around with my fan in my hand, facing upwards. I'm not 100% sure that this shelf will actually work, but it's fine because Ikea have got quite a good returns policy. You've got like ages to return stuff. I think it's like a year, but I'm very happy with my purchases. I just now need to figure out how to get the seats down in my car because I've done that on my own <laughs> to get this shelf in. And yeah, very successful, even though it would mean I'm going to get stuck in school traffic on the way home. But whatever, you can't have it all. It was a very successful trip and I bought myself a little snack. I'm obsessed with these, by the way, they're so nice. They're like kind of healthy-ish chocolate bars, but they're mint and dark chocolate. And if you like mint, you're gonna love these because they're so good. I think they do them in orange flavor as well, which is equally nice, but the mint is definitely my favorite. Anyway, this is not about my snacks. I'm gonna head home and hopefully get home in like half an hour or so. Anyway, I don't know why I do this to myself, but I've just come to B&Q because again, I passed that on the way home. I thought, let me just pop in because I've got a feeling that shelf isn't gonna work. I didn't explain what the shelf was for, let me turn the aircon off, so we, for the upstairs bathroom, we've gone for like a back to wall toilet, which means you don't see the back bit, like the cistern of the toilet, they build a box around it, and the builder said that they can tile the entire box, but if ever there's a problem with the cistern, we'll then have to get somebody in to come and like do the tiling again so he said it's easier if you just buy like a nice shelf and stick it on the top they can cut this ikea one down to size and then you just have to replace the shelf and it's just easy because we could do that ourselves rather than getting a tradesperson in so i thought that was a really good idea and i really wanted a shelf that was like really nice wood um not like pine something like oak but i didn't want to spend a lot of money and i asked um kitchen worktop people about the cost of getting like some quartz off cuts and i said look i'm not fussy about like the pattern i just want it to sort of be white maybe a bit marbly i don't know i'm not really that fussy but have you got anything and the cheapest i found it for was for like 70 pound plus fat which is a lot of money for a shelf so this one from ikea is nine pounds but it it's really chunky it's a bit ugly um i'm just gonna pop into b and q and just see if they've got anything nice in there and just see way up the cost but this is not the sort of stuff I want to be spending money on because you know it's just it's ridiculous isn't it? you've got to draw the line somewhere so yeah here we are it's just been a day of missions but it's been good that it's been dry it hasn't really rained that much today the forecast it's meant to be chucking it down for like the rest of the month it was so nice and hot like really sunny but like extremely hot up until yesterday and today the weather was meant to turn and it was meant to be all stormy i think it's stormy tonight so i thought you know what while it's dry because there's nothing worse than the rain i'm just going to pop into b and q and just see what they've got you know it's just easier so yeah <laughs> this guy's actually doing some stretches because the builder just told me to prepare him for today there's a lot of work to oh, be done <laughs> you can't really do these kind of things yeah oh my god it's so funny <laughs> it is literally the crack of dawn we woke up at 5.30 this morning and Jas and I are on our way to the house. <laughs> he was doing some stretches this morning and <laughs> it's so funny. Anyway, we have our kitchen delivery and stuff coming today. We've got four different deliveries actually. We've got Ren, AO, Curry's, Mark's Electrical. It's basically all of our kitchen and the appliances and stuff. But the builder called because Jas is painting with him today and he was like, get Jas to do his stretches to prepare him for all the work that he's going to have to do today so he was actually doing his stretches <laughs> anyway we've been instructed to pick up a coffee for the builder on the way and i would get one for myself but again i don't want to pee anywhere at the house so i'm just going to hold out a new toilet now so you should be fine there's no door though <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's not happening <laughs> we're armed with coffee for the builder <laughs> And we brought croissants, plain croissants for all of us um, from Wendell's because I'm a bit hungry, not going to lie, because it's too early for me to have breakfast and all I've packed with me today are strawberries, so yeah.
Well, this is exciting. I've just picked up all of my last remaining Farrow and Ball paint. It's a bit irritating that it's been in stock for ages, but nobody thought to tell me, so it's lucky that I went in today, otherwise I'd have been sat at home waiting for their phone call. She'd never seen inside here before, but now there's lighting in here. It's not as small as I thought it was, Jess. It's actually pretty big. Cheer that. Kitchen delivery has arrived. Okay, the kitchen delivery is here. It's the first one of the day. So I'm gonna try and like film a little time lapse. Yeah. Vlog, yeah, that's it. You don't mind, do you? Okay, Here we are. Here's the Tyler. Look at the good job he's done so far. Excellent. Good pattern. Do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, I thought I'd film everyone in there. So the kitchen delivery has arrived. This isn't even all of it. This is just the kitchen and half the appliances. We've got um, two more deliveries to come this afternoon with the fridge, hob and washer dryer. But it's taken up so much space. I'm really glad they cleared this whole room out because just look at this. It's crazy. This is all from Wren. There was a dishwasher from Mark's Electricals. The delivery guys pretty much just threw it in that corner. Was not very happy with their service, but yeah. Oh, left appliances. Every time I think this house just gets a little bit cleaner, <laughs> it starts building up with loads of stuff all over again. Kind of just hanging out just killing time. There's the builder, electrician, Tyler, adjusting some painting as well. I'm gonna just wait till it's almost lunchtime and I'll have lunch with everyone. Then I'm gonna go home and do some tidying there because we're back here for a full day tomorrow. In fact, I think my aunt's coming down and we were gonna start moving a few boxes in, but <laughs> there's just so much stuff here that there's really no point. What I might do instead is just Google to see if there's any charity shops open tomorrow because I've got so many bags full of stuff for charity and I'll get my aunt to give me a hand tomorrow. Dropping them all off but it's starting to look really good in here. Like the white paint just makes such a big difference to how this whole room looks. It just looks really bright. One evening when Jess and I came down we thought the lights were on. That's how bright it was at like 8pm but it was just the natural light bouncing off the walls and it just, I love it so much. It's not going to be white for very long, not all of it anyway. But um, yeah they're making some good progress. I'll go and show you what they're doing in the living room now.
I'm not gonna I'm fucking play you some fucking red day music in a minute, man. Uh, just, there's no mercy in your soul today, boy. There's no fucking mercy in your soul today. Tiles are done and they look so good. Oh, so good. Even all the ones at the top here. I wonder how they did that, the curved bit. Oh, it's starting to look so good in here. It's downstairs, isn't it? Oh, I'll film it from here so you get a bit of view. It's gonna look so good when it's done. Here we are, just filming this on behalf of Nishi. This is a new consumer unit, we're putting it here. It used to be under the stairs. It used to be a little tiny one. Just, there's a room here. This is going to be finished today. Just painting up. There'll be some more paint upstairs. Skip is going tomorrow, and this was the very last skip, so It'll be really weird to see this whole front garden without a skip after tomorrow. This has all been painted now, the whole way. This has all been sanded, which looks great. But I think this has all been painted. Obviously, the delivery's here, so this looks no different out here. But yeah. And these little snagging bits have been filled as well because they went through with a marker pen like that and just circled any bits that need to be filled or sanded. So I can see they've done that now. It looks really good. And the white makes it feel so spacious as well. Oh, I love it. It's really coming together now. tired I can barely keep my eyes open while editing this video but surprise surprise I forgot to end it it's because I spent the whole day with my aunt she came over because she wanted to see the house and then um Jas came out for lunch with me and her went to a really nice cafe in the park and then we dropped him back to the house because he wanted to do a bit more painting me and her went to the shops and then when we came to pick him up we actually saw the guy putting all the grout on between the white tiles and it was really interesting to watch because I had no idea how it was done and I was like that black stuff is gonna come off, isn't it? And he's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. So it has come off, I can confirm. But I thought I'd end this video here. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next week for the new one. Bye.